It's quite surprising that uh, quite a lot of people, most people in fact, get this question wrong. Um, when asked what the domain of uh, f on g on h of x is, uh, i.e. the composite of three functions, uh, what is the domain, they either say that the domain of uh, fgh, uh, that's one way of writing it, and there's plenty of different formats for writing it, but we'll use that one, the domain of SG, fgh equals the domain of h, uh, which is the input, they either say that, which is wrong, or they say that the domain of fgh is basically any x in the reals, x not equal to minus 4, minus 2, or 5, basically looking at these three uh, denominators where clearly the x can't be any of these values, otherwise it, uh, the function is infinite. Both of these are incorrect. OK, so let's have a look what the actual answer is. Um, so what are, what are we talking about here? So um, g on h basically means that we have to put h of x, which is this, into g of x, and then we have to put the composite g on h of x into f of x. And what it's basically asking when it says what's the domain, it's saying, well, basically, what, what values of x does this make sense for? Um, so let's have a look. So the, the domain of h to start with clearly is equal to all of x, but x not equal to 5, because we cannot have x equal to 5, because if x equals 5, x minus 5 is 0, and we're dividing by 0. So we can't do that. OK, so when we put h into g, um, and we look at g of x here, well, whatever goes into g cannot be minus 2, because otherwise we're going to have minus 2 plus 2, which is 0, and we're going to be dividing by 0. But what is going into g? Well, in actual fact, h of x is going into g, so we can't have 3 over x minus 5 equal to minus 2, because if 3 over x minus 5 does equal minus 2, then when we put it into g here, we will get 1 over minus 2 add 2, which is 1 over 0, which is infinite. So we can't have that. Solving this here, that gives us that uh, 3 equals minus 2 x minus 5, i.e. 3 equals minus 2 x add 10, i.e. x equals 7 over 2. So we can't have, in our domain of the composite of three functions, we cannot have x equals 7 over 2 either. Because if we do have x equals 7 over 2, then when we place that into h of x, we will get minus 2. And then when we place h of x minus 2 into g, we will get an infinite value. So basically, we know that the domain of fgh cannot include uh, 5, because that's the obvious one. And it also cannot include... 7 over 2, because if it includes 7 over 2, then we will have a problem when we go into g. Now, what about when we put the composite g on h of x into f? Well, the composite cannot have the value minus 4. OK, so first of all, we need to work out what g on h of x is. OK, well, g on h of x, so we basically have h of x is 3 over x minus 5, and g of x is 1 over x sub 2. So g on h is basically putting in h into g, which is 1 over 3 over x minus 5 add 2, which equals uh, just multiplying top and bottom by x minus 5, add 2 x minus 5, which equals x minus 5 over 3 add 2, oops, 3, excuse me, sorry. Let's just uh, delete that, I was getting a bit too excited with myself. x minus 5 over 3 add 2x minus 10, i.e. x minus 5 over 2x minus 7. So that is basically g on h of x. That is the function which will be going into f here. And so therefore, that composite function cannot equal minus 4. So this value here cannot equal minus 4. So x minus 5 over 2x minus 7 cannot be minus 4. So let's have a look when it is minus 4. Uh, let's just, that's x minus 5 equals minus 4, 2x minus 7, which equals minus 8x add 28. So basically we have uh, 9x equals 33, i.e. x equals 33 over 9, which is 
11 over 3. So x also cannot equal 11 over 3. So we can now add that in here as well. It also cannot equal 11 over 3. And here we now have what the domain of fgh is. Um, and the reason it can't equal 11 over 3, of course, is because if it does equal 11 over 3, then g, then g on h of x will equal um, minus 4, which means when we put it into f here, it will be infinite. So basically, the domain, adding all this up, the domain of f on g on h is equal to, uh, we can either say x contained in the reals x not equal to 7 over 2, 11 over 3, or 5, or we can do it in uh, set notation, which equals minus infinity to 7 over 2, where with the curve bracket, union 7 over 2, 11 over 3, with the curve bracket, union 11 over 3, 5, union 5, infinity, i.e. it can take all values between minus infinity and infinity, but it can't take 7 over 2, 11 over 3, or 5. And that is the domain of f on g on h. Okay, if you enjoyed this, uh, please subscribe to the Gresty Academy channel.